Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create communication profiles to connect to a server. Most applications have the need to connect to a server, mainly to connect to a database. Here's a schematic of the process. As you can see, all devices connect to the MIS communicator, which then connect to the database. So, in Calypso, we need to create a communication profile regardless of working online or offline. A communication profile is you telling Calypso how we can reach the server. On the server, you'll set up MIS Communicator, the Calypso component responsible to manage all the connections coming from the devices. Communication server can be any Windows computer we want. There's no special requirement. If you have installed Calypso from the setup, MIS Communicator is already installed in your machine and you don't need to do anything. Let's start then by setting up a communication profile. Click the communications button in the toolbar and press the add button. We can start by creating a TCP IP communication profile. Let's call it TCP. By default, Calypso suggests a TCP IP profile. This type of profile can be used for Wi Fi, USB, or GPRS communications. In each case, we simply have to specify the server and the port. The server can be a name or an IP address. The port must be available and unused by any other program, other than MIS Communicator. So, with the default settings, we are telling Calypso that our application can connect to support 4, which is the machine you are logging into, on port 9000. Don't forget to make sure that this port doesn't get blocked by any firewall. The best thing to do is to add MIS Communicator to the allowed programs both in the firewall and antivirus software. In case of using this profile with Wi-Fi, there's no special requirement. For USB, it's only possible for Windows Mobile or CE, and you need to install Windows Mobile Device Center. Although we don't use it directly, we'll use an API installed by it. For GPRS, you need to bear in mind that the server will probably be the address of a router, which can be a public IP address or a dynamic DNS address. In either cases, you need to forward the port by NAT, from the router to the machine where MIS Communicator will be. When developing for Windows Mobile or Windows Desktop, you need to be aware of the Connection Manager parameter, useful for GPRS connections. In the case of Windows Mobile, you can set this parameter to Auto Internet, if you want the operating system to manage the connection. In this case, the operating system activates a connection if necessary. Auto Work, which behaves like Auto Internet, but for VPNs. Yes, and the operating system will prompt the user for each connection to activate. No, to manage it yourself. This means that you're responsible for activating any connection if necessary. For that reason, Calypso enables these fields and you can specify the connection name. Whenever this profile is needed, Calypso activates the connection and deactivates it in the end for battery control purposes. It's also possible to activate or deactivate connections by action. In the case of Windows Desktop, you can set this parameter to Auto Mobile Broadband and Calypso will try to activate the mobile broadband connection in your Windows tablet. I'm going to leave it by default, as always. And press save to create our TCP IP connection profile. Although we are not going to need it, we are going to create another communication profile. We'll call it Bluetooth socket and select the Bluetooth socket type. This type of communication profile should be used for Bluetooth communications but will not work with Windows CE devices and it's possible that some Windows Mobile won't work either but it should be a minority. The big advantage of this communication type is that it doesn't require you to create any type of virtual COM ports. It relies only on the server's Bluetooth MAC address. You still need to pair both devices but that's all you need. Remember, Android doesn't have virtual COM ports so this is the solution when connecting by Bluetooth with Android devices. I can check out my computer Bluetooth MAC address and just type it here. Let's press save 
to create our Bluetooth socket communication profile. Although we are not going to need it either, we are going to create another communication profile. This time we'll call it local and select the local type. This type of communication profile should be used for any type of serial port communication. Like discussed before, we need it to communicate by Bluetooth in Windows CE devices. You should pair the devices and that length con port associated with a specified server and select it here. Let's assume that it's port 9. No need to change anything else and we press save to create our local communication profile. Now, although we're not going to add any other communication profile, I want to talk about two safety measures regardless of the type of the communication profile. Can encrypt the exchange data and you can also set a password that has to be provided to MIS Communicator in order to be able to exchange data. You can see that those parameters are available in all profiles that we have created. Now, for TCP IP and Bluetooth socket communication profiles, Calypso automatically connects to MIS Communicator and sets up the corresponding profiles. For the local ones, we must specify the server's COM port used for Bluetooth. For that reason and for training purposes, we are going to open MIS Communicator and set up profiles manually. We can open MIS Communicator directly from Calypso. Let's press Connections and then New. In the upcoming window, we set up the description which, for coherence, we are going to use the same ones that we've set up in our project. So, the first one is TCP and the port is 9000, like we set in the Calypso Designer. We press Save and New again. Now it's time for Bluetooth socket and we select Bluetooth. No other parameter is necessary. We press save and new again. Finally, we'll call this one local and select local COM port. Don't forget to specify the server's Bluetooth incoming COM port. Let's assume it's port 26. We press save and exit again. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial on how to set up communication profiles. See you on the next one.